Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have something really exciting that I want to share with you guys. So look what I got. I hope you can see that. So I've seen so many reviews about this on YouTube. So I was really excited when I was able to find it. I actually found mine at Rite Aid. So I went to Rite Aid and they had a display of these. Um, they had a lot of different colors. Oh, sorry, my cat. You wanna say hi? Oh, hi, babe. Look at it. YouTube's watching you. Isn't she so stinking cute? Her name's Annabelle. Look at the camera. She's camera shy. Okay. So at Ready, they had a display of these, and there was actually a lot left. And they had the concealers too. Um, but I, after seeing some videos on YouTube, the concealer didn't look like anything special. I still really like the Maybelline Fit Me found, uh, not foundation concealer. And I still really like the NYX concealer. So I don't really, I mean, I don't really want to try another concealer because I already have some that I like. So I'm really excited to try this. I don't think I got the right shade. Um, this is my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. And I wear mine in shade Y225. I think that's the shade. I don't know. It's my first time buying this. And then I ended up getting the Wet n Wild in shade Soft Beige. Um, and if you look at the colors, one's a, the Wet n Wild's a little, a little pinker, and my Makeup Forever is a little yellower. So I don't think this is going to be a perfect match for me. They're kind of close, but when they're swatched, they're totally different colors. Um, but I, I'm going to try this and I'll see. Alright. So, let's get into it. So first, I'm going to open it. And from what I've heard, this has like a really paint smell. That's what everyone says on YouTube, so I'm curious. Oh yeah, it smells like straight paint. My dad's a painter, so I know what paint smells like, and this like stinks. That's not good. That smells really bad. And I don't know if anyone else is like this, but like fragrance stuff on my face really bothers me. I try and get like non-scented. Um, so we'll see. And it does have a little spatula. And it looks pretty watery. So we're gonna try this. And I'm gonna look at my viewfinder for this because I wanna make sure I'm actually getting it in the right spot. So I guess the best way to do it would be just to, I don't know. What's the best way to do this? Uh, I think I'm just gonna put it on my face. I have a, a zit peeling right here. So we'll see if it covers that. Um, I think I'm just gonna do half my face to start. And then We'll do the other half. So, hmm. Girl, that smell is just awful. <laughs> All right. So with this half, I'm gonna use um, my BH Cosmetics brush. I'm not sure what this one's for, but I really like it for foundation. I'm just gonna blend it. Oh, it's really shiny. Um, it looks super matte on some people that I saw on YouTube. But for some reason on me, it's like kind of shiny. 
the color is not awful. Let me see if I, if I turn my light down. I feel that helps a little bit. So yeah, um, it's not bad. It's definitely more of like a medium coverage. It's not full and it's not light. I'm not really smelling it as much when it's on the face either. Let me see. Yeah, it's pretty sticky. Doesn't look too bad though. And we'll try the other side. Where did I put it? Okay. And I don't want to just put a whole bunch. And I don't actually own a beauty blender. I know, I look ridiculous. Um, I just get these like cheapy little ones, so uh, we'll see how it goes. I really want to get a beauty blender. I don't think they're that expensive. Um, I just, I think they're only at Sephora, if that's right. And I'm more of a drugstore person. I don't really go into Sephora. The first time I actually went in to buy something at Sephora was that, um, the Makeup Forever. That was actually my first time in Sephora. That store is crazy overwhelming. <laughs> okay. I still have, you know, some redness right here. I didn't really cover up my circles under my eyes. There's definitely still redness, like right around here. I get like, they're not really acne, it's just like little irritated bumps sometimes. So that didn't really cover them. Um, and my blemish right here, it did an okay job. Would definitely still need concealer. I mean, it's only like $5.99, so that's a really good deal. I just don't know. I mean, there's probably better drugstore foundations, and it's still kind of sticky, even over here. Let me uh, throw on some powder and see if that helps. So I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. This one's in Dulce, Dulce de Leche. And I'm gonna take this lighter shade. I love this stuff, as you can tell. I have a backup already. I'm gonna just swirl it. It's still kind of sticky. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't know if you can even hear that. It's still sticky. I think I'm gonna have to wear this on the weekend maybe and see how it wears throughout the day. I'm home, so I don't really plan on going anywhere. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't feel like it really covered that well. But you know what? Uh, something I wanna throw in. I, when I was at Rite Aid, I actually saw the brand Jessie's Girl, which CVS doesn't have. I've actually never even heard of it. And there's these cute little matte lip colors. So I wanted to try this one. This one is called, it's a pink one. And they're really cheap. I think they're like two bucks. And they smell so freaking good. Like, I don't know a cupcake or something. This is, it's really thin. 
it looks so hot pink on the camera. I don't know why. It's actually like a really um, light pink. So now I look like a weirdo because I have like no eye makeup on, a little bit of mascara left over, and hot pink lips. So this was a fail. It's really pink. It does not look as, it's not showing up right. It looks super pink on camera, but in real life it's like a brownish pink. Uh, let's see. So that's good, they don't transfer. I would be interested in seeing what other colors this brand has. It's really soft, it smells good, and it doesn't feel that dry. So yeah, uh, that's all that I have for my video. I'm definitely gonna have to try out this Wet n Wild and see if it's okay or not. Um, and for this lip color, I'm probably never gonna wear it again. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, thanks. Bye, guys.